Okay, so I am trying Westbourne today. Uh, it says on Google Maps that there are about five or six charity shops here, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go and see if any of them will let me do a bit of filming. Um, so I will hopefully catch you outside. Okay, toodles. Bye. So I didn't do any filming in there because with the COVID restrictions, there was a lot of standing around. There wasn't an awful lot. About four or five of the shops were still shut. Um, this, this is Westbourne. It's quite, it's quite a nice area. It's a bit posh. Um, very nice though. Nice places to come and eat. I'll definitely be bringing Mark back here to come and have something to eat. Lovely, really nice. Um, I was just going to jump on one lady, one three ladies sitting while I was queuing outside the, one of the shops they were sitting there the food just arrived and it was like oh god it smelled good it was so garlicky what is it about bacon and garlic they just oh anyway they uh so I thought right I'm coming back here anyway uh the shops the, the charity shops uh two of them had virtually nothing in there it was complete waste of time one of them was more high-end they knew exactly what they had um, and even what they did have was overpriced. So uh, I think I bought a couple of bits there, but not very much. And then I went on to, um, but not Bernardo's, what was that? Um, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but anyway, loads in there, loads. Very small section, but I got loads, uh, including two lamps, which I will show you in just a minute in my haul. So this is the uh, haul from Westbourne in Dorset on the south coast. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the haul that I got. Where should we start? Let's start with, uh, yes, yes. Little um, cobalt hand-painted cloisonne ginger jar. Now, I'm not sure this ever had a lid because there are no markings, it's not ground. So technically, hello. Hello, just bringing you tea. Lovely. You. Oh, you're such a good... I'll leave the uh, tip on the side there, all right? Okay, lovely, lovely. It's good when you can get good stuff, isn't it? Thoroughly recommend that one, but not stealing him just yet because he's so handy. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, this beautiful uh, Japanese, it's marked with whatever that says. I don't know, I'm not an expert on Japanese markings and I don't even have a reference book and I'm really not going to try on the internet because way too hard but it's a beautiful thing um i've called it a ginger gel but the truth is i don't know that it was i think it might just be a vase because there's no ground in the top either on the outside or on the inside or on the rim at all where a lid would have been so i'm thinking that this is as it was a vase anyway um look at all this this is hand painted and it has the little gold uh bits in between that's called cloisonne and um it's just it's just beautiful and look at that color oh my favorite color again that amazing cobalt blue so that's a really nice little item and that is going to be going on to ebay and that will be start that will be starting bit of 25 pounds that's a beautiful little item that's that one um ah oh, yes now this is my little china geisha girl there is a whole market for geisha from little paintings to ornaments and everything. Now, the thing is when you're hunting, when you're out hunting and you're buying lots of items in one go, what happens is you, I mean, I, I really look over things thoroughly, but if I still get caught. And I looked at this and I thought, no, that's not broken. No, no, that looks really nice. Great, put it in the basket. And it's only when I got home, look, I realized that she's missing her thumb and the end of her little guitar. Now, I could have assumed that I that got broken in the car on the way home, but it does look like it's an old break. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to list her for a while. I'm actually probably going to do a video and show you how that I can repair that and restore it. So, um, yeah, well, anyway, she was she was another. I mean, she's really nice. Really. Nice. She's not mulk. I think there's a letter on the bottom, but she's really nice. I'm very, very pleased with her as an ornament. She's very nice. So anyway, what I've done, how old she is. She may not be that old, but. Uh, like I say, collector market for Geisha. So I'm just going to pop her down because she's not going to be going on to eBay. 
Number three, Arthur Wood Jug Cream Transmail Bell. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Lovely, lovely old jug. And as it says on there, it's fully marked. Uh, it's made by um, Arthur Wood. So again, even when I saw that, I knew that was good, good old make. This comes from about 1954 and um actually i haven't got a price for this yet i always research my items when i come home i always research my items to make sure that to look at the comps to make sure i know what they sell for and just to check to, to actually make sure by the markings what age they are so that's how i know that this is 1954 it's a really nice little jug stroke pitcher the gilding's good markings are good and it's quite a nice little transfer print on there um can't remember actually what I was going to put this on for. It'll probably be about the fifteen pound mark, something like that. So, so that's um, Arthur Wood. Nice little jug. Great custard jug. Wouldn't that be great for all you people that love custard? Um, my husband included. Uh, oh, quick shout out to Rocky and Angie. I got told that you, Rocky, in particular, you're missing my videos, and quite frankly, I'm not surprised. Who wouldn't miss looking at this? Or is it the content? Are you totally enamoured with what I do? You are, aren't you? I can tell. And I know I make you laugh as you make me laugh. Anyway, that's a shout out to Rocky and Angie. There's a free holiday in it for me for that. Remember that. Uh, right. Art glass. Green snail. Oh, God. Where's he gone? Love this. There he is. Made by Wedgwood. Beautiful art glass snail. <laughs> I love this. Perfect condition, no chips, cracks, nothing on there at all. Really nice, uh, clear, quite weighty as it would be for glass. And this is um, designed by Ronald Stennett, uh, Wilson and Paul Miller in the 70s for Wedgwood. And um, yeah, again, I haven't I haven't written down what I'm gonna what I was gonna list that at. Perhaps I haven't checked it for the comps yet. But anyway, um, yeah, nice, nice little piece. Love that. Really nice little green snail. Look at his little bum. Look, look, ah. Oh. Now I did find um, quite a few glass snails on eBay. Now a few of them are Wedgwood, um, Murano. Yeah, did make some, but anyway this one is Wedgwood um all different colors but they have this Wedgwood have this particular unique sort of like little twisty bit in the middle but I love this I saw this and I thought oh god yeah I've got, I'm definitely having that what a lovely thing that is so um yeah fabulous little Wedgwood glass snail and there are people that collect lots of snail paraphernalia etc come on sit yourself down Brian Brian, get it? Reference there to the Magic Roundabout. Only certain people of a certain age would remember that. Okay, now this is an interesting lot, this one. I bought this as a set. Uh, now, I don't know whether I can show you this all in one. Right, if you look at these, these two, these are made by Johnson Brothers. And this is a Parique pattern, Parique. And these two, all right, remember those. Same company, same pattern, but made much, much later. Now, I want to just show you. Firstly, the thickness of the jug, it's way thicker. This is younger, way thicker than this. This was made, so the jug was made in about 1913, about 1913. And the, the jug, the, uh, the, the bowl and the creamer, oh, hang on, let me just, the large jug marks are likely to be 20th century. Yes, different crown made in England. Yeah, so um, I can age these. I've got a book where I can see all the marks ever made by English potters. So, and the crown is what shows you that it's uh, different, uh, of a different age, a different vintage, if you like. It's a different crown. So this also, also with this, um, look at the difference in the 
in the colouring on the yellow. Can you see on this, the jug and the, and the sugar bowl, it sort of fades up towards the top. And on the jug, it's much more crisp, you know, looks much more a modern piece. Having said that, as I was saying, I'm just trying to work out my own writing here. Um, so this is it's definitely 20th century. Uh, yeah, potentially, I didn't write. So these could be anything from 1883 to 1913. And this is 1913 onwards. That's what those markings show me, that this these markings were used 1883 uh, to 1913, whereas this one is nine. This crown was used from 1913 onwards. This will be listed at £20. There are collectors of this pattern. When, and I like this because it's yellow. I like anything that's yellow. I love orange. Always anything interior. I'm always aller allergic. Yeah, come out of a terrible rash. Um, attracted to orange. I don't know why. Don't know why, just am. Anyway, and yellow. When I had my clothing shop, do you know we couldn't sell yellow? Yellow or orange, not for love nor money. What's wrong with people? Black, that's what they want. Anyway, so that's that. So that's going to be listed at £20. I'll just sell them as two different lots because they are two, you know, different ages, etc. And these two will go on at £25 for the pair. Really nice decent good condition no damage on either of these which is pretty good when you think it's over 100 years old it's pretty good isn't it for thin china like that anywho that's that one okay what else do we have wedgwood sandwich plate now this i liked that i just thought that was really nice it's in really really good condition um it's not really really old as in you know back in mid-century or before this is actually from 1992 but the reason i bought this was one i really like the pattern the condition is really good it's wedgewood so that's always always a, a, a big plus but this pattern is very collectible and sometimes when you buy a quality piece like wedgewood what happens is uh it's not the vintage market you're going after it's people trying to add to their collection or replace bits that are broken so this is going to be going on to ebay uh it will be a starting bit of 10 pounds which is actually when you think for you know a wedgwood plate if you went and bought wedgwood plates new um they cost a lot of money they cost an awful lot of money way over 10 pounds so um you know, there's something to be said about buying secondhand. There's something to be said about looking on eBay to replace bits for your collection. Anyway, so popular pattern is called Clio. Clio. Oh, got money out of space. Right. Uh, what's next? Oh my God. Uh, now, I've already had a big five-way conversation with my sisters about this. I couldn't resist this. When we were kids, I'm one of five girls. When we were kids, uh, grandparents, you know, would always buy uh, like something for each of us, similar but slightly different. And um, or the alternative was we got like one big box of chocolates between all of us, which is awful to kids, terrible thing to do to kids. But anyway, only certain people did that. But we had these little wooden figurines and this one belonged to my sister Jackie and not this actual one this particular the poodle now as soon as I saw it I nearly jumped and there was a man standing right next to me he'd been watching me while I was buying all these things and I got most of these in the Salvation Army in um in the Salvation Army shop the rest were really expensive you know they know their market they've got experts in there but anyway so this one the little poodle oh is that my packaging arriving yes i've got new shipping bits arriving that's my guard dog it's my little amber my little rescue romanian rescue go on kill kill but let him deliver the goods first so, as I was saying, so this, thank you, dear. Dear, I called him, I never call him dear. Why do I call him dear? Probably showing off for the camera. 
Um, so, yes, yeah, so this one, my sister Jackie had one. I had a little penguin and they all had different colored glass eyes. Anyway, I saw this and I took a photo of it yesterday when I got home and I sent it to our WhatsApp group and I said, anyone remember this? And everyone went into rapturous, like, oh my God, yeah, I remember that, oh. And then it led to a whole conversation about different things that we had as kids. And um, kids of the sort of late 60s, 70s. So this was very reminiscent for me. Um, I just loved it. And um, again, very 1970s, uh, iconic piece. It's got glass eyes. I'm actually going to list this for £14. I'm not so sure that this was as good a quality as the one we had. But then when you're kids, you don't really notice, do you? You just either like it or you don't. I'm sure I remembered it being wood. This is a composite piece, but there you go. It's really nice. It's got its eyes. Love it. There you go. Happy little story. It's happy for me because I remember it, you know, have memories of it. Um, right. Ah, now, not far up the road, there is this, um, when I went to Kinston, when I go to Kinston, you saw the Kinston Hall on the previous videos. Um, on the way there, there's a big totem pole. And I took my daughter there and uh, she was going on and uh, about, oh my God, look at the totem pole. She really liked it. So <laughs> short of buying her a 20 foot totem pole, which may be a little bit difficult because my car boot isn't that big. Um, I thought I saw something and I'm going to get it for her. Here it is. So I saw this little chap and this is a shaman's composite raven totem pole uh it's of a raven and a wolf believe it or not this is a wolf so look at his legs look sit boy sit well he's got no choice isn't he with a huge great raven on his head anyway um i did print off or i'm going to add to ebay the meanings what what these different things mean uh because whatever um obviously they're north american probably this has probably come from canada north american uh pieces totems from from their culture and um yeah so again i gave it brought it home and i said darling i've got your own totem pole she scoffed she scoffed well that's gratitude for you isn't it i blame the parents who brought her up so that won't be staying in her bedroom offering her all the wisdom that you get from a raven and a funny shaped wolf no it's going to be listed on ebay and that is going to be listed start price of 15 pounds nice little piece look lovely you could stick it to a piece of wood and make a book oh, make a bookend out of it couldn't you but why would you it's nice on its own so anyway i quite like that that's quite a nice thing even though i bought it as a gift for her and she poo hooed it and threw it in my face Okay. Oh, now this was a bit of a mistake. I bought this. I'm probably not going to put this on as it is. The reason I bought this is because, as I just said, the man sitting next to me was really sweet. He was masked. He was on guard duty. You know, wait out there, please. Wait. No, only six in the shop. Wait. No, you. you, you, you. And I've got my trolley because I always take a trolley. And because uh, there's no never baskets or anything in charity shops. They expect people to buy one or two items. <laughs> Not muggins here. Even when I'm buying the clothes, I'm full basket it up. Anyway, I saw this and I thought, oh, this is quite nice. Um, didn't have a price on it. And then I thought, actually, it's probably quite modern. I don't know. I've got no idea what age it is. It's quite a nice little carved piece. It's solid wood. Um, but I just thought, do you know what? This might look better painted or have something done to it. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to keep it and do something with it. I might not. I might just list it. But the reason I bought it was, he said, oh, is there no price on there? That's what the man said. And I said, and I was about to put it back. And, and I said, no, no, there's not. He said, oh, I'll go and check. Anyway, so he came back and he said, uh, he told me the price. And, uh, and I went, oh, oh, OK, thank you. And I felt obliged to buy it because he'd got off his perch, his security guard perch and gone up to the back to ask Mildred up the back there what um how much it was so I put it in the basket it's the kind of idiot I am never get rich I'll never get rich oh now saw these they were in the window I made him get out of his get off his stool and go in the window this now people could either love or hate this 
I really like this. I think this is French, and I'll tell you why I think this is French. One, because it looks French. Two, because I think the shades look quite French. It's got a bit of age to it. Uh, it's obviously been been changed. The wiring is quite is quite vintage, so um, it's been pack tested and everything. So, but anyway, any who who who, it's in good condition. Um, it's it is very French looking, isn't it? But I get I tell you why I think this is French apart from all of those things. Um, the next lamp I'm going to show you is very different, same shade, so the same person owned it. Um, but uh, you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, I really like this lamp. It's a good heavy lamp. It's possibly antique, certainly vintage. And um, this is actually going to be uh, listed for 45 to 50 pounds. Um, because it is a nice vintage piece. I will have a go at polishing it up a little bit more. It'll come off a bit more, but um, yeah. And I love the shade. I just think the shade is really unusual. The shade isn't old. I don't think the shade is old. Well, I know it's not old, but it's it's just really nice. And it does look, you know, quite French. So that's that. Uh, now this is the one, I've got to be careful with this one. I'm not so sure this one is so old. The wiring looks like it's a little bit newer, although this bit, looks older so i think this is original but the wiring is new anyway look at this lady look at this lady now again you see the same same shade um she's in perfect condition and on the underneath it says made in france so i am thinking that both of these two pieces the fact that that looks french this is marked french um and they've, they've obviously come in together. They've got the same shades on. So, um, yeah, I really like this. This is really nice. And um, this is probably early 20th century to the middle of the 20th century. That's what I reckon. Because it can't be really, really early because of this plastic. But this does look like it's... This does look like it's got a... Certainly a little bit of a vintage feel to this plastic. It feel it does feel a bit old and the brass is looking a little bit worn. I can't decide whether to restore this or whether just to sell as is. Um, I'll probably have a go at listing it as it is. People do like things sometimes to show their age. But I just think she's lovely, really lovely. And, um, and quite a nice thing. I think that would be quite a nice thing to have on your bedside table or even in your lounge or whatevs. So that's... That's the story of the two lamps. Um, I'm going to be listing her for £95. She's a, she's a nice item, a good vintage item from the late early to middle century, I think. Right. Uh, oh, yes. This little box. I love little boxes. And um, I do very well with boxes. They do sell well. And I was looking at this and I just thought, this is a really nice little box. Really nice. Uh, really good condition. Look at the shine. It's all really nicely done. Oh, it's got that vintage smell to it. And um, anyway, the carvings on there are really nice. I love this detail around here. I love it. And while I was looking at it yesterday, do you know what I noticed? That all... Let's have a look at things. All in here is actually copper. This is all like curved uh, reticulated, is that the word? Probably not. Um, can you, I don't know how well you can pick that up. But all of this down here, all copper, goes all the way around and all the way on the outside as well. It's actually really nice. I think with a bit of a polish that would come up even more. But I don't want to polish it, you know, with metal polish and ruin the finish to it. So again, nice hinged really closes really well nice little box um and this uh, again is judging by the style is mid-century probably mid-century um it's made in poland because there's half a label there so um not a modern piece but um i'm going to list this for 20 pounds start price 20 pounds so as i say i do quite well with boxes so um yeah, don't know what you think about that. I just love the fact there's that copper in there and you've got to really look closely to see it. And um, when you do, it's like you can't not see it. 
It's a shame that the light doesn't pick that up. It's so fine. I mean, the work that's gone into that. So fine. See, it's on, it's on the edge as well. You see around here? No, it's not like they've just done it on the top. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, un momento, por favor. Didn't know I was fluent in um, Spanish, did you? Another box. Got another box here. Again, love this. Uh, really nice. Look at that wood. Look at the grain on that wood. Now, I don't know what wood that is. I'm sure maybe some of you could comment if you know what wood that is. But it's lovely. I love that. But then I love walnut. I love very highly grainy, you know, different colour, different stretch striations. Is that the word? For um, uh, in wood. I remember seeing zebra wood for the first time. Oh, God, I, mean, I was doing an interior design course and I had to profile wood. And... Um, in one of the modules oh god it was lovely i just love, love it anyway so like i say nice beautiful brass inlay as well as a really lovely carving on the top all hand done obviously brass here here and on the, on the front it's on the back as well so it's not like they've just done the front you know to make it cheap really nice got this nice little clasp on there and again look at that it's that lovely rich red color isn't it Maybe it's cedar. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm sniffing it. I don't know why I'm sniffing it. I've got no idea. It doesn't help me at all. just thought if it's cedar, it might smell of cedar. But then when I smell cedar essential oils, it's like I don't go, oh, that's cedar. No, I just go, oh, that's not very floral, is it? Anyway, nice little piece here. Um, Again, don't know the age. It's slightly irrelevant, actually. It's just a really nice little box. And you could put a padlock on there as well. The, you know, it's got a little thing there. This is going in as a starting bid of £20. That's the minimum. I may need... I'm going to do a bit more research on this just to see if I can get some age to it. And um, because it may be worth more than that. But that's a starting bid of £20. Uh, oh, yes. Now this... This is going to be a love it or hate it item. Um, it's not something I particularly want in my house. When I did the antique fairs, there were a lot of French dealers. And I'm actually hoping to, to tap into that market quite a lot. Mark and I are looking at getting over to France when the markets are all open and when we can travel a bit more freely. And actually start bringing across some French items. Whenever I've sold anything, put listed anything French, it's gone really, really well. And I've had multiple bids on it and it's gone really well. So, um, yeah, so, but I saw this and I thought, oh, this is, this is very French looking. Um, I don't know if it is or not. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even know if it's that old. It probably isn't all that old. Um, I don't know, 20, 30 years old, maybe. But, um, it's very French looking. Ignore the picture. You might love the picture, but it, it was the frame. So I'm listing this as a frame. It weighs a flipping ton. It's solid wood. Well, again, a lot of these more modern ones are composite. Yeah, this is solid wood. You can see it on the back. Is it wood? Well, they've done a very good grain if it's not. No, it is wood. It is. It's wood. Yeah, this is wood. So anyway, it's heavy. But look at all that ornate, all that ormolu. Look at it. It's just, oh, it needs a clean. I'm going to get a brush to this and actually just bring it up a little bit more. I don't want to remove it totally because it's what creates part of the patina. But um, yeah, I just really liked that. I thought that was actually a really nice. How nice would that look with your children in there or whatever? But again, so that is going to be, I'm going to be starting that at £25 because uh, for a, if that is a French item, which it may or may not be, I'm not going to claim it's French. Uh, but if it is, you know, that's the sort of money you'd be looking at to buy that. And um, again, on my on my uh, e eBay listings, I always put an opportunity to, to make an offer. So um, but my starting auction price will be 20 or 25. I'm not sure. But the ones I looked at, when I looked at the comps, 25 seemed to be the price that they that they go for. So anyway, so that's that. I think that bright gold is a sort of love it or hate it thing, isn't it? Um, I have to say it's not my favourite. But I don't just, I just love the pattern. I love all that pattern. Now, these two. So I'm up there paying. Mildred's just 
getting everything uh, up on the till. There's always somebody there being instructed. I think I've said that before. Have you ever noticed that? It's always somebody being instructed on how to use the till, new staff. But so while they're doing that, I had a quick look through the art and I came across these. And these are hand drawn, hand painted, sketched, whatever, um, on fabric. Which I'll do one at a time. Signed. Signed. I'm sorry, you're getting the reflection of the window on there, aren't you? I'll try and... Ugh. There. But I love this. The frames are a bit naff. That You know, it's the, the frames are... That's not the deal. The deal is the picture. They are actually... You can see their fabric. They've just been shoved in there. But they're really nice. They, they, would, they would do well by being professionally framed. Oh, God, look at that. Look at it still. Look at that blossom. See that? Yeah, it's my life. Full of flowers. Anyway, um... I love him. I think he's really lovely. In a black and white or very modern monochromatic home, these would be fabulous. So that's him. That's Mr. Man. And then we have Maggie and Mildred. There we go. The two ladies. Again, signed by the same artist. I can't make out the signature. So, um, yeah, I'm not even going to try. But it's it, it's really lovely. It's hand done. And it's uh, both uh, painting and sketching on fabric. Really nice. Two really nice little pieces of art. Hand done. I only ever buy hand proper original pieces of art. And I like those. I thought those were really nice. And those are, uh, these are both going on individually as £40. Because that's easily what they're worth as original pieces of art. The frames are rubbish. Um, the value is not in the frame. The value is in the piece of art. So, um, yeah, really like those. Anyone that really loves that oriental um, vibe, um, which my daughter's into big at the moment. Uh, she's actually learning Korean. Um, they're obviously not Korean, but, um, yeah, they're really nice pieces. So they'll be going on, like I say. And then two more. I found two more really lovely original watercolours. And Dawn, my sister Dawn. Uh, these might interest you. They might not because they're probably not your style. But actually, these are, it says on the outside, these have been professionally framed. Look at the difference it makes when something's framed professionally. Um, these are little watercolours by... J.V. Saunders. Now, the only J.V. Saunders... In 1958. So they've got a nice bit of age to them. Nice little pictures. And they are of Oundle or Oundle, is it? Um, O-U-N-D-L-E. And it's in Pe that's in Peterborough. But really nice. Aren't they nice? They're, like I say, there is a, a, a June. Well, to start with, I thought it said Lounder. Or Loudon. Um, and I... But there's not. Um, it's not that. So I thought, okay, Jay Lounder, and there is a, Jay, a June Lounder, but she does drawings, but they're not in this style at all. And then I did, when I thought, oh, that says Saunders. Okay. And I Googled that and there is a JV Saunders. Can you believe it? Um, and I thought, well, you know, maybe it's him, but it's not. He's a cr He was a cricketer at the turn of the century. And I think he died before these were painted. So, but nevertheless, 1958, nice vintage pictures nice subject matter i'll put that one down and show you this one same professionally framed what a nice little pair put together on wall they would be one above the other really nice can you see that i'm really sorry about the reflection that's nature for you isn't it eh? sunlight i'd rather have the sunlight and, and the reflection but again really nice professionally framed the professional framers label is on the back um but these are lovely I really love these. When I lived in, was living in New Zealand, I bought two much bigger watercolours from a charity shop. Really nice. I've got them on the wall downstairs because they were so iconically English and I was missing home so badly that I um, that I actually bought those two paintings. Again, ha original hand-painted watercolours as these are. And... Um, I just like these. I think these are lovely and there's, they're definitely quality, both 1958, bit, quality bit of art there. And these are both going to be listed for start bit of £55. That's each. 
which is very cheap for a piece of art from um, the 1958s. What else? Is that it? That's it. So that was my haul from Westbourne yesterday. Um, so it's a beautiful day. Now that I've done my film, I'm probably going to go off and uh, have a see. I might go off to Broadstone. It looks like there's a load of charity shops in Broadstone. I might go and check that out, actually, as it's a really nice day. And then come back and do a mega listing over the weekend. Because if I list at the weekend, free listings. Um, but sometimes it's too much to do in one day. It's a lot. So, and like I say, I have to come home and research everything just to make sure, you know, that I know what I'm talking about and what I can, so I can list it accurately. Don't want to send something off and then somebody say, oh, you said it was this and it isn't. So, if I don't know what it is, I'll tell them. I say, I don't know what it is, or I don't know how old it is, or it's probably this, and then I'll discuss, like I did with the lamps, why I thought they were that age, why I think they're French. Um, all knowledge gained over the years, and because uh, I have, believe it or not, been doing this for quite a long time, and even longer on and off. But uh, doing doing this. Like I say, we came back from New Zealand, living in New Zealand, to set up vintage shops. Vintage shops didn't work out. It, there was just not too many overheads. So, um, but this is way nice. So this is nice. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the haul from Westbourne in Dorset, down on the south coast of England. And um, I will see you uh, in the next video. Toodles. Just me and my orange, Ted. Don't forget to check out my eBay shop and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The links are in the description below.